guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought I'll do a quick little haul because I mentioned in my last video that I managed to pick up some of the recent Kors collab and you guys know how I feel about Kors. I just love his work so much so I had to get, you know, these pieces from the drop. So I'm going to start off with the CDG one. So big shout out to one of my amazing subscribers, Michael, because he was the one that sent me the link to these items. So initially I saw them on the DSM website but I was a little bit too slow by the time I clicked into the site. So they sold out of the t-shirts and the hoodies and they only had the shirts available. And I do like the shirts but the price point is a little bit higher. I'm pretty sure the shirts retail for 760 Australian dollars. So I was kind of deciding whether I should get that. I'm glad I didn't panic buy them because like a week later, the Melbourne CDG store ended up stocking the collection and that is how or that was where I got them from. That was way too long of an intro. But let me just show you guys what I got. So I got two t-shirts and a hoodie. So I'll show you the t-shirts first. The retail price for the t-shirt is 140 Australian dollars and I was really struggling um, to decide what size to get because I don't have any CDG shirt t-shirts and they do have the measurements on the website which is quite helpful but I don't know, I feel like it's always tricky when you're trying to decide what to get when you haven't purchased from a brand before. So I ended up getting a t-shirt in a medium and a large because I don't mind my clothing to be a little bit oversized but I've tried this on already and I would have to say the fitting is definitely more on the slimmer side but it's also quite long if that makes any sense I don't think it's my favorite cut in terms of the t-shirt but we are here because it is a course collab and I love the print so so much so this one here is definitely my favorite out of all the prints that he did for them and you can see it's in this pink and green colorway it's so cute I love it so much okay I need to stop saying I love it so much because I love everything that I got from this collection. You guys can see the material on the t-shirt is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not horrible, but it's, it's okay. It's not like amazing either. I prefer my t-shirts to be a little bit more heavyweight like the Uniqlo U t-shirts, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. I'm not hating on the t-shirt at all. I'm just happy that I was able to get these. And I also saw yesterday that they have this on the Farfetch site and I have a 10% off discount code with Farfetch so I could have just used my own code. So if you guys haven't picked up any of the t-shirts, they still have it available on their site. So I highly recommend that you guys check it out. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's one more print that I didn't get and I didn't see this particular print on the Melbourne CDG site. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this is the other print that I saw on the Farfetch site and I'm pretty sure they didn't have this on the CDG Melbourne website or else I would have bought it, surely, right? <laughs> um, so I think I will be using my own discount code to get this maybe later after I film this video. Um, but yeah, also, if you guys didn't know, Kors did do a collab with Comme des Garçons back in 2007. Um, my game was not strong back in the day, so I don't have those items to show you guys, but I can show you what it looks like in this book. I don't actually know anyone with the physical items, but this is what it looks like. How cool. And then there's also like a perfume, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think this one here is a perfume. And then there's also like apparel and you can see it says Dover Street Market. I feel like these are items that are so hard to find now. Maybe on grill if I really, really tried, but I would love to have some of these pieces back from 2007. I don't use grill very often because I don't know, I'm just scared of getting scammed or something, but I'm sure you can find really good like archive like all the stuff on there so maybe I should start looking if I want some of those t-shirts but let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have any of the pieces from 2007 I think that's just so so cool but anyway <laughs> back to these t-shirts like I mentioned before I got this in a medium and a large because I just couldn't figure out my size and also I don't mind my clothing to be a little bit oversized I was thinking if the large is too big, that's okay, I'll still wear it anyway. And I've tried them both on. And like I mentioned before, it is quite long and quite slim around the body as well. So I would definitely recommend sizing up if you don't really like a slim 
considered kind of a look um, but make sure you check the measurements on the website as well hopefully that will give you a better idea so I think the medium is okay for me but I don't know maybe it's just the cut of the t-shirts that I'm not really a fan of I just prefer my clothing to be a little bit more boxy but yeah I don't know I'm just happy that I got them and yeah those are the t-shirts Hopefully that was somewhat helpful in terms of sizing. And then um, I ended up getting this hoodie. So they had a t-shirt in this print as well. And I thought instead of getting like three t-shirts, I would get a hoodie instead because they had the same print. And the hoodie is a little bit more expensive. This retails for 440 Australian dollars. Um, but you know, I was kind of in my panic buying moment at that time. And the thing is, those items actually sat on the website for a while. I'm pretty sure this is still available in a full size run on the CDG Melbourne site. And I checked yesterday and they have this exact same item on the Farfetch site and it's cheaper. I'm pretty sure it's 280 something dollars for this. So if you guys haven't purchased this anywhere else, maybe check out the Farfetch site and then if you can use like a 10% discount code, I think that's even better. If I knew that it was cheaper on the Farfetch site, then I would have waited, but it's okay. I feel like it happens sometimes and I'm just glad that I have it with me because yeah, I mean, it's coarse guys. Um, but anyway, back to this hoodie. I got this in a size large because again, I was just so confused with sizing and even though they had the measurements, I just wasn't sure because I was trying to measure all the hoodies that I have, but they're all really oversized and just like the sizing didn't really make sense so yeah i just ended up getting a size large just to be on the safe side and i've tried it on and i would have to say this definitely fits very small and it's very long though at the same time so again with the cut i don't really like it that much because it's just very slim and long and it's not really the kind of hoodies that i'm used to but it's okay i still think it looks really cute on and i will definitely like fold it under and tuck it in because if i don't it's just kind of weird and long but very slim at the same time and i don't think it's very flattering on me to wear it that way so if you're thinking about picking this up i think definitely size up as well so in comparison like this sakai hoodie that i'm wearing at the moment it's a size medium and it definitely fits a little bit looser compared to the large in the CDG one. Also with the material of the hoodie, it's more so on the thinner side. It's definitely not one of those like heavyweight hoodies that I'm used to like the CPFM ones or Yeezy Season or even the Nike Energy hoodies that I have. The composition of this hoodie is 100% cotton and it's definitely more so on the lightweight side so it is comfortable but I'm just used to like heavier weight hoodies. Um, I'm trying to see whether it's similar to this Sakai one. I think the Sakai one is slightly um, thicker compared to the CDG one. But yeah, I mean, I love them all so much and I'm really here just for the print. So I'm going to stop <laughs> repeating myself and I'll make sure to list and link everything that I've mentioned in the description bar below. And if I have a discount code as well, I will list it there so you guys can save a bit of coin. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next few items, which I'm very, very excited about as well, because this is from the Human Made drop that happened like quite a few weeks ago. Has it been a month now? It's been a while now. Hold on. I feel like my memory card is full. I need to change it real quick. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So as I was saying, I managed to pick up some of the Human Made Course collab and I also want to give a huge shout out to another one of my amazing subscribers, Anson, because without him, I probably wouldn't have been able to get these items because on the day of the release, he actually sent me a DM like 10 minutes before the drop and he was reminding me that it was going to be live on the site and I was already ready on my computer. Um, you know to cop these items and generally before a release when it comes to a site that I've never copped on before I will try and get myself familiar with how to check out really quickly so if you need to create an account or fill in any details prior you should definitely do that so I was doing that and then I was thinking maybe I should try and pretend to check out an item so that I can get myself familiar and then when it came to the last bit it kept saying like it didn't ship to Australia and I was kind of panicking because I was reading the shipping on their site and it didn't say that it couldn't ship to Australia at that time but then when I tried to check out it kept saying like no you can't ship there so I was like 
does that mean I can't get any of these items? So I was messaging or like I was DMing Anson at the same time and then I was just like, I can't check out for some reason. Um, and this was prior to the release. So I was telling him like, it doesn't ship to Australia, so I don't know what to do. And I was kind of already ready to give up, which, you know, it's not the right attitude <laughs> when you're trying to buy something. So yeah, for some reason, I didn't even think about maybe shipping it to Malaysia where my parents are. Um, but at that moment, I was like, it doesn't ship to Australia. What do I do? And then Anson was so kind. So he offered me to ship the items to his address in Singapore and then he would then forward it to me. So I'm super, super grateful because at that moment, you know, when you're like two minutes before the drop and you're like panicking at the same time. So I was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. And at the same time, he was on the human made site. So he actually retail assisted one of the t-shirts for me as well. I managed to pick up three t-shirts in total. Um, I'm glad that Anson was on the site at the same time because he helped me cop the duck one. And then I got another two. There were a few other designs, but I can't quite remember how many they were in total but i'm really happy with all the ones that i got and then also it came with these really really cute folders i think the receipts came in this and i didn't know they would give one for each order so i did all three orders separately because i was so afraid that I was going to sell it super quickly so i just checked out one item first and then when i went back to the site they still had some available so that was when I purchased another one and then Anson had already helped me cop the duck one so after I cop three I was like I should probably stop or else I'm just gonna keep <laughs> trying to buy more but I think by the time I got the third t-shirts most of them had already sold out in the size that I want anyway but yeah it came in this super super cute folder I feel like Anson should have just kept one because why do I need three of these um, but yeah thank you so much for helping me with this human made drop um, with the t-shirts I got them all in a size large because I already have a human made t-shirt in this duck print let me show you I have it ready so I'm sure you guys have seen me wearing this before I got this in a size large because I just like my t-shirts to be a little bit oversized and I do have to say that I prefer the cut and the material of the human made drop compared to the CDG one. If you guys can tell, there's a little bit of texture to the human made tees and they're not as bright white either. Hold on, I chucked, I chucked the CDG shirt on the floor. But hopefully you guys can tell on camera when I have the two next to each other. The CDG t-shirt is definitely like a very bright white and with the human made one, it's more of like a slight off-white but I do prefer the look of this. And yeah, in terms of the fit, it's definitely a little bit more relaxed and the material is really nice and soft and super comfortable. So between the two, yeah, I 100% prefer the human made one. But the print is super cute as well. So this one here is the little flying duck and then on the back it says cause made I love it so much if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure the retail price for this is very similar to the CDG one I think I ended up paying maybe 140 or 150 dollars each for the human made one including shipping I will definitely <gasps> no I just got lipstick on my t-shirt. Anyway, I will of course show you guys what these look like on. And then the other one that I got is this one here that says Cosme. Look at this, this is so cute. I think this might be my favorite out of all the human made t-shirts that I got. Well, there's one more that I haven't shown you guys. But this one says Cosmate. It does come in a white and red colorway as well. But by the time I like got to it, it was sold out and that's why I ended up going for this color. But I still really love it. I think Brian, like AK Cause, posted a photo of him wearing this, but I think the one that he has is like a custom because the Cause made is on the back of the t-shirt. And then similar to the other one on the back, it says Cause made in this red logo with the human made like heart logo with the Cause made. I'm not making any sense guys. Anyway, <laughs> moving on the third t-shirt this one is another white one and this one has the human made logo instead of his regular eyes you can see it has the coarse like crosses and it's just so cute I love all these t-shirts and I would definitely get a lot of wear out of these and yeah just feeling them as well they're so much softer and a little bit more heavyweight compared to the CDG one so highly highly recommend this 
Um, they are obviously sold out on the Human Mate website at the moment, but I'm sure you can find them on secondary market. I highly, highly recommend them. So those are the pieces that I picked up from the Human Mate site. And yeah, I mean, there are still so many other pieces from the course Sakai collab that I really want. And they are sitting on a lot of websites because they're quite expensive in terms of the retail price. Like the jackets, I think they're about $3,000. And then there's this sweatshirt that I really really want. It's like in this colorful print and I just feel like I want something from the Sakai collection that is in that like artwork kind of vibe and they do have it in a camo like olive color or like a super colorful one but I think I'll definitely go for the super colorful one if I do end up picking up any of those pieces that jumper is so cute but the retail price is like $1,800 which is very expensive and also the other reason why I'm holding off on getting that is because I really want a pair of the like Travis Jordan 1 fragment lows um, the highs are way too expensive so we're not even gonna consider that um, I'm really considering the lows because I think the color blocking is really nice and I was actually talking to Anson um, on Instagram and we were like discussing the Jordan 1 fragments and he was the one that mentioned before as well that he preferred the color blocking on the lows and I would have to agree with him I think the color blocking is super on point so I really really want a pair but at the moment the retail price is quite expensive the last time I checked for my size it's around 1.7 1.8 K so I haven't pulled the trigger just yet but yeah between the Sakai course jumper or the Travis Lowe's I might go for the Travis Lowe's instead but anyway that hasn't happened and you know things are so expensive it makes me sad but anyway before I end the video, there's one last thing that I want to show you guys that's upside down. I picked up this course What Party book and again Michael sent me the link to this because they had it on sale on this Australian um, book site called Booktopia. So this book comes in a bunch of different colorways because you guys know with the white party figure He dropped it in a few different colors, but because I have it in the yellow actually Let me grab it to show you guys So this is the white party guy that I have and because I have it in this colorway That is why I ended up choosing the book in this color because you know I thought they can be like matchy and if I displayed it this way, it would be quite cute um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this book, maybe 60 or 70 Australian dollars, but I'm so glad I got it and also it was on sale. Um, so yeah, thank you Michael for sending me the link to this because I don't actually have this book. You guys know that I love anything course related, so I have quite a few of his books and yeah, I haven't opened this up just yet because I was waiting to look at it together with you guys but yeah i'm definitely gonna enjoy like looking through this book and reading it um but yeah happy that i got it and hopefully it's still on sale i'll definitely link it down below as well if you guys are interested and it shipped pretty quickly because right after i placed the order it did say it was a pre-order which is fine because i am in no rush <laughs> for this book but then it actually shipped within like two weeks I would say so yeah super happy with this but overall very very happy with all of my cores pick up recently and I mean I missed out on the cores fabric as well as like the cores um, like new vinyls that he released last month or like two months ago which a little bit sad but it's okay I'm sure there will be more good releases coming out I'm super super hyped for the course Sakai Blazers I know I keep talking about this release there isn't a date just yet but when it does drop eventually I definitely need both colorways I think there are two colorways and I need both of them definitely because I have kind of the outfit so I need the shoes <laughs> to go along with my outfit and yeah guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful in terms of sizing because that was definitely one of the things that I was struggling with when I was trying to cop them and me in my panic buying mode as well <laughs> that is why I ended up buying like different sizes but I'm happy with everything that I got and I'm glad that the CDG stuff is still available on a few sites so if you guys are thinking about picking it up I highly recommend it and I'm still thinking about that shirt that I spoke about 
Um, but we will see. I mean, I'll definitely cop the t-shirt that I didn't know they had. And by the way, guys, oh my god, I told you guys I was going to end the video, but I just thought about something. Um, the CDG Melbourne store is in the city, and it's been such a long time since I've gone past that store. So I went past to do a click and collect because they did do shipping or like pickup, and because if I head into the city to get my groceries, I might as well go past the CDG store. And I haven't been to that store in such a long time. The last time I went to the Melbourne CDG store was when Pharrell did a perfume collab with CDG and the bottle was designed by Kors. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was the last time I went to the store. And I remember buying that perfume bottle purely for the bottle. I didn't even smell the perfume. When I saw it in store, I was just like, okay, I need this. And I bought it straight away and I still have it. And I'm pretty sure the perfume is expired at this point, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know because I haven't been to that store for so long when I was going there I didn't really look at the address properly and I just assumed it was in one of these laneways in the city and As you're walking in that laneway, it almost feels like there isn't gonna be a store there But keep going. It's right at the end and you'll see it that obviously it's closed right now um, I'm hoping when everything opens up they will have the physical like shirts in store So then I can try it on and maybe get it then because I don't think it's one of those items that's gonna sell out straight away um, because last time I checked it's still available on their site But yeah, anyway guys, I'm going on a full tangent and I told you guys I was gonna end the video So I will end the video now. Thank you so much for watching this video And I really hope you guys enjoyed it If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already And I will see you guys really really soon Bye